Let's see. All right. Let's get on to what's going on with UBI and the AI and all this stuff. So we've got the godfather of AI who's advising the UK government to start UBI or universal basic income. This is basically where the government um, pays you to not work. That is what UBI is in a nutshell. Says Jeffrey Hinton also warns that advanced AI could pose an existential threat within the next five to 20 years. Says Jeffrey Hinton, a world-renowned artificial intelligence expert, often referred to as the godfather of AI, recently consulted with members of the United Kingdom's government at Downing Street, where he advised lawmakers to consider adopting universal basic income to address the impending threat of job losses. Um, until recently, uh, until recently, Hinton worked for Google, developing high-level AI features for neural networks. His underlying technology powers most modern generative AI systems, such as Google's Gemini and OpenAI's Chat GPT. Now, before we go any further with this, it's important to know that Hinton, his specialty is computer science and cognitive um, psychology has to do with not only computer science and artificial intelligence, but it also has to do with how the brain works and how psychology works with that. Combining them a lot basically allowed the creation of AI to bring about neural networks. And ultimately what that does, um, it's basically AI can have a brain pattern designed off of the human brain. And so we understand that this is what they firmly believe um, when it comes to things, um, when it comes to the human brain. Now, they believe that the human brain is like a computer. Uh, you can input processes into it, and the brain will then uh, download it into its into the to the uh, command structure of it, and then it can uh, then issue commands out that way. And so, because they believe that the human brain is like that, they've been developing technology for computers to work off of the human brain. Things like neural networks, which is basically the human neural network designed by, uh, from the human brain to the um, to the computer brain in order to make it function like the human brain. We've also seen things where they're trying to make organic uh brain uh artificial brains as well where they are actually attaching brain um matter human brain matter onto computer chips to make them process and run faster um because it's using the brain power of the human and so his goal is to try and unlock that human brain as much as possible so it can be put into ai which only spells disaster um for what's going to happen, what it's going to be used for in the future uh, when it comes to this stuff as well. Um, especially when de demonic intelligence, it becomes demonic intelligence and demons possess this thing, whether they possess it now or not, that's up for you. If you want to decide whether it's now or later, um, I believe it's going to happen if it hasn't happened already. And so if it's more complex in that type of way, um, that's only more dangerous for us. So let's keep going with this. Uh, article. It says, according to Hinton, the AI revolution will most likely benefit the rich, laypersons, blue collar workers, and those employed in jobs uh, that can be automated stand to lose their means of income. And that's going to be bad for society, he recently told the BBC in an interview. Uh, I was consulted by people in Downing Street, said Hinton, and I advised them that universal basic income was a good idea. He's not the only one. Says Hinton isn't the only major player in the field of AI who believes that we'll need a UBI to offset the impact automation that we'll have uh, we'll have on the human economy. Before becoming one of the most famous CEOs in the tech industry, OpenAI co-founder Sam Altman, who studied under Hinton and helped pioneer the neural network, uh, also is on board with that. It says these days Altman is known for his tenure as OpenAI's top brass, as well as his full throat support for UBI. Altman's other venture, WorldCoin, is focused on providing UBI through the adoption of a cryptocurrency uh, token provided free of charge to anybody who signs up for the service and submits to a retinal scan to verify their identity. Part of biometrics, add it to your digital twin profile. Aside from saving humanity from employment displacement through the advent of UBI, both Hinton and Altman have expressed their belief that AI could pose an existential threat to humanity. You don't say, especially when I believe that that's going to be one of the backbones 
to the beast system when that thing comes online. So we've got the godfather of AI here, Hinton, Jeffrey Hinton here, who says we need UBI because of the takeover at AI. Sam Altman says it. Elon Musk says it. Uh, Uncle Klaus, Klaus Schwab over there says it. Uh, Yuval Noah Harari has said it. Um, countless other top dogs, um, part of the cabal and, and the movement that's going on, have said that we're going to need UBI, especially since we see it with our own eyes, critical thinking, no official report, just going off of what we actually see out there, of AI automation taking jobs over. We look at what's going on in grocery stores. We look at what's going on in fast food places. We notice what's going on in warehouses. We notice what's going on in banking. We notice what's going on in all these different places out there. Uh, there's more advanced technology coming by the day, literally by the day. It's unbelievable that are going after people's jobs. And as he said, AI only benefits the rich. Everybody else is, you're out of luck. And um, yeah, UBI, that's part of their plan. Again, if they can get everybody hooked on a UBI system, plugged into the uh, to the metaverse and strapped to 6G um, energy technology, they can use this as, as energy batteries to build their personal global empire that they want to do, especially when they got AI that can reproduce everything from pictures to music to movies and a bunch more, especially since they're using AI to read people's brains. Read people's minds. Yeah, kid you not. Also goes on. It says, Hinton reportedly left his post at Google to speak more freely about his concerns over the impact AI could have on the future of our species. Don't you just love being called a part of the species rather than, you know, a human being? I just, especially, it's like, you know, the subjects. Yeah, I'm not a subject. Sorry, I just it just it just seems so degrading, personally. But it says for uh, for this uh, for his part, Altman claims that the entire reason he co-founded OpenAI with Elon Musk, which some people don't uh, know or have forgotten that uh, OpenAI was started with Elon Musk um, and others, was to ensure that advanced AI systems were developed carefully and for the benefit of humanity. What they mean is benefit for the cabal, not actually humanity. The humanity of the cabal, I guess you could say. Um, in the recent BBC interview, Hinton said, we may only have a handful of years before the threat becomes imminent. My guess this is him, is between five to 20 years from now, there's going to, uh, there's a probability of half that uh, will have to confront the problem of AI trying to take over. It's funny because that's the same timetable that, um, wow, his, uh, his name just popped out of my head too. Um, I can't remember the guy from Google futurist. He's talked, he talks about the singularity. Again, I can't remember his name. I'm sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> Kurzweil. There we go. Ray Kurzweil. Got it. Ray Kurzweil, when he talked about the singularity, he basically gave the same timetable. And the whole point of the, uh, the, the singularity is to combine human and machine and blur the lines where you don't know uh, when the human stops and when the machine begins. And so he said about roughly, he said about 10 to 20 years that that's going to happen. Well, he's given the same thing. Uh, Hinton here is given the same thing when it comes to AI takeover. Isn't that fascinating? It's almost like they're both referencing the same thing. And especially since we know that that's probably going to be one of the backbones along with quantum computing, quantum networking, um, the beast system, the Antichrist beast system is going to be built upon that because that's going to give the Antichrist access in order to display um, uh, lying signs and wonders uh, to display false uh, miracles and stuff. You know, when he goes and says, I'm God, he's going to be going around doing these false miracles and he's going to have to use technology in order to do it. And so AI having access to everything and every butty, including their thoughts and dreams and, and, and what they're seeing and stuff, they've got that technology already going to going right now. Um, that's going to give them access to do it. So it seems like this is definitely going to be the backbone for that. So very, very interesting. And so going along with it, when it comes to UBI, especially since it's going to be digital, I would, I thought I would throw this in. This isn't necessarily prophecy news, but this is kind of relaying the point when it comes to digital money. And this is uh, Bally's Atlantic City refuses to pay 72, 72 year old, 2 million jackpot due to a quote unquote technical glitch. 
says the house always wins. A 72 year old woman who hoped to take her winnings to buy a trailer for her son was being told uh, by Bally's in Atlantic City that the two million jackpot she claimed she won was invalid and the result of a technical glitch. As a result, Bally's, along with game mag manufacturer IGT, are refusing to pay the money out. Now, there's a picture that goes along with it. I didn't put it in here. I'm sorry. That she took a picture of her machine, and it certainly did uh, have the $2 million payout on the machine, which the game, the pit guy, uh, the pit master, came over and altered the machine and said, you're not going to get paid for it. Get it. He said, get it through your head. You're not going to get paid for it. This is what happens when everything runs on digital, when everything, including your money, runs on digital, and the house is in control of it. The house always wins. So when you have a digital currency, and that's all you have, you go completely cashless and everything is digital, and it's controlled by the house. Ultimately, if you want to go high up, it's going to be the Bank for International Settlements. That's uh, They're the ones that sit above all the central banks and everything. Um, if they say that there's a technical glitch with your account or you do something that they don't like, they're going to be able to just take it away and go, sorry, tough luck, you're out of it. And so I just wanted to throw that out there and let you guys know that when everything's built upon digital, the house always wins. Just like a casino, it always wins. So